What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about the best team for Red Demon. Now, um, I did my Crimson Demon video, and a lot of people, surprisingly, uh, wanted me to make a video on the other raids. So, I'm going to be doing Red Demon, Grey Demon, um, I'm going to talk about the guild boss and all that stuff eventually. So, uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Now, this video is going to be shorter than the other one, because I know the other one was like 10 minutes, but that's because I was talking about everything. But now that y'all have seen that video... This video is doesn't need to be near as long, basically. So, um, yeah, anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into this video uh, and see, well, well, not see, but talk about the best teams and stuff like that. Now, honorable mention, right? Honorable mention is uh, this team right here. Now, this team is basically, if you're playing by yourself, you don't have someone that you can combo with or anything like that because... Um, if you guys don't know with Red Demon, you can CC him, right? He can be debuffed, so you don't necessarily have to um, run the team that I'm going to be showing you guys. So, uh, honorable mention, Red uh, Elizabeth, whatever not damage, her basic stats goes up by 10%. Um, and she's really good because uh, you can use Blue King, Merlin, or Gustav, and all of them have CC. They... Petrification, freeze, freeze. They all have CC. So that's going to be keeping this Elizabeth um, not getting attacked. And she's going to be doing more damage, more damage, more damage. Now, um, I do want to preface, I don't use this team. I used to use it, but I don't use this team because I'd rather just kill the boss. Because with, with this team, it takes like five plus minutes. But um, with my team, we can kill the boss in like two or three minutes. So I usually run my team uh like i said i raid with one person we do each other's raids together so um yeah but even when i'm raiding with random people or whatever i still take that team just because it does so much damage but now that we've got that out the way um let's talk about the actual team the actual units and everything like that so starting out your damage dealer slater slater is the best choice for this raid best choice for this raid hands down um i know some people might not have slater but slater's in the coin shop for what like 20 sr token coins so i mean at some point you should should have got them or should get them whatever the case may be slater is amazing um if you guys don't know what slater does he crits a lot right his first um ability doubles crit chance his second skill seal stances um and they both do amazing damage right and if you guys don't know red demon has stances so slater is literally made for red demon his ultimate which applies in effect doesn't really matter but it crits as well it's amazing um and his passive if it, an uh, <coughs> what if you attack an enemy with an empty ultimate gauge triple your crit chance the red demon doesn't even have an ult gauge until the third stage so you will always have this passive going he is an amazing unit for this raid. He is going to be your primary damage dealer. Now, let's say for some reason you don't have Slater or you do have Slater, but you don't have him built, whatever the case, or you're pretty much like me. I have Millum. Millum, uh, my Slater is probably like level 60, four star. My Millum is level 70, six star. So it's it's very good. I, I use Millum. Now, my friend uses Slater, and you want to have at least one Slater between the two of you so that they can take away the sil the stances, which you're going to see in my next video. But anyways, I take Millum. Yes, Millum has zero penetration, but I'm going to get into why this does not matter, right? Anyways, her first ability applies fatal, increases crit damage times two, 160% um, damage to 4,400. Um, really good first skill. This skill can crit, but it doesn't do that much damage. So, I mean, it's whatever. This skill's literally, you're, you're going to be using this skill. Like, her second skill's whatever, right? Her ultimate plus detonation. You deal 15% damage per ultimate gauge, which this is going to be only used on the last turn, the last stage, right? So, I mean, and even then, it still doesn't matter. She can crit with it, obviously. So, whatever. Anyways, this one right here. Critical damage increases by 8% per each skill used, stacks up to 10 times. You're going to spam quick win. You're going to spam quick win to get her passive up, right? And then this is going to be your main damage. 
Uh, now, if you guys don't know, you're going to be using the exact same um, strat as the Crimson Demon. You're going to run Gother. You're going to try to rank up everybody. Um, I run Hellbrim, like I said. So Hellbrim is giving 30% to all attack stats. The reason why penetration 0% don't matter is because Hellbrim's giving her penetration. He's going to give her attack, penetration, crit rate, crit damage, lifesteal, right? So he's giving her penetration. Otherwise, well, otherwise, she would be useless. But since he's giving her penetration, she's going to be useful in this raid. And um, yeah, so like I said, I use her. Uh, but yeah, you go through rank up, Helbrum boost. You can Guild Thunder boost. You can Arthur boost. It does not matter. You can also use Kane for the um, passive in the fourth slot. Golgius for the passive in the fourth slot. You are not going to use Healer or SR Elizabeth. There's no reason you should die or in this raid. I'm in my next video. I'm gonna talk about it. We we stalled for like four turns and like I still didn't die. There's no reason you should die in this raid. If you die in this raid, eh, something's going on. But um yeah so um obviously same strat as the last one you'll boost you'll boost with Gother get everybody cards up he'll your, your friend will boost with Gother then you boost with Helbrum Guild Thunder or Arthur then you will attack with Slater Millum you will destroy every health bar so anyways that's gonna be it for this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me in the comment section below with that being said I'll see you guys next time peace.